Hi, and welcome to the Embody Your Flow podcast. My name is Monica Martin. I am a life transformation coach, and I am here to hold space for you to create a life you truly love by blending spirituality and science. I overcame CPTSD due to severe childhood trauma and burned out. This podcast is all about life transformation, wellness, and reclaiming your birthright, which is to live a life that makes you feel happy, fulfilled, and free. Hi, and welcome to today's episode. I had the pleasure of interviewing Anastasia Gramova, photographer and content creator, who had to flee Ukraine this year because of the war and started a new life in Switzerland. First of all, thank you, Anastasia, for being here today to share your powerful life transformation. How are you? Monica, thank you for invitation to your podcast. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. (laughs) And you? (laughs) Yeah, I'm good. Very excited to have you here. Um, So for a little background story, uh, you and I met uh, in July. I had contacted you because I needed someone to take um, pictures for, you know, for my, uh, for my, for my website. And, uh, and then we met and we did the photo shoot. And I asked you about your story because you, you know, you are an Ukrainian woman who, fled the country because of the war but also you had to flee the country you had to flee your home in 2014 when you leave when you leave your Donbass and the war started there as well right so it's happened to you twice yes it's uh, the second time when I should leave uh, my home Uh, firstly it was uh, when I uh, lived in uh, Donetsk it's uh, Donbass part of Ukraine and it was in uh, 2014 Uh, it was very unexpectedly for our family and maybe for all people uh, in Donbass and um, by the way I didn't make uh, this decision to move it was a decision of my parents they just keep us uh, together I was uh, 16 years old and we moved to Kharkiv and I should to graduate my uh, 11th class in the, from the school with this situation. And then I um, learned in university also in Kharkiv. And for me, the first time maybe was the most difficult leaving my home because uh, not all the friends uh, was living in uh, Donetsk. And I still have some friends in Donetsk who is not... Um, who has no like ability to live uh, by any reasons, different reasons. And it's still difficult to understand it, that you lose your friends and lose some connections with other people uh, of the world. <laughs> and now it's uh, the second time and it was my decision now to leave Ukraine because um, I prefer for my health for my uh, life to be in a more uh, safety place. And so I decided to leave Ukraine now. (laughs) But it's so difficult also. I hope that I will uh, have the opportunity to come back sometimes, somewhere. Because you still have all your family there, right? Uh, Now not. uh, About maybe five uh, days ago, my family also uh, lived by... Leave to Ukraine. Oh, they left, now. They left yes. Ukraine as well. Because I remember when we talked about it uh, back in July, you said your mother. Yes, uh, yes. they live there. all this half of a year in Kharkiv, in the most dangerous city, maybe in Ukraine. And only five days ago, um, on the last week, uh, they leave Ukraine and they're in Germany now. They're in I Germany. Have, awesome. Yes, I have only my grandmother. She is uh, in the Bars party. And okay. uh, the territory was occupied. Now it's again Ukraine territory, but she still there. <laughs> she, she are not going to leave her. her yeah, home. that's her home. Yes, yes, that's her home. Okay. The most uh, more difficult decision for all people to leave. Of home. course. And but do you still have friends living in Kiev right now? Yes, yes, sure. Maybe a half of my friends or like some co- connections they are still living in uh, Kiev and they say it uh, usually that it's 
usual life, but we know that it's not usual life because you never know uh, what will happen to the next minute and it's not safety there. But they try to live and <laughs> to to live their life there and to be happy, maybe. <laughs> And how do you feel now? You know, how actually, how did you feel when your parents were still living there? Um, did that make you feel anxious or did you worry about that? Uh, I'm worried, <laughs> worried, yes. And it it was very nervous to me to think about how they are every day and uh, to write a lot of messages every day. And yeah. now I, I, I'm more calm <laughs> and I'm more happy of, the situation that they are living uh, lived in Ukraine, and they could also plan maybe new life for them, and it will be more safety for my parents and for my little sisters. I have three little sisters; yeah. uh, they are nine, uh, nine years old, uh, fourteen, and sixteen. Okay. So I, I, I'm very worried, maybe more not of my parents but of my sisters, because they should have. Uh, fine uh, life also and uh, yeah. and in Europe they will have more opportunities to build their life how they want not like to uh, how they can just <laughs> in Ukraine of course and how why did you pick Switzerland out of all the countries in Europe why did you pick Switzerland <laughs> it was very interesting decision for me also <laughs> because uh, first, when I uh, just uh, left Ukraine, uh, we firstly go to, uh, went to Portugal and we lived there for two months. And that decision was about uh, like previous experience. We planned to try uh, have um, like a, a winter vacation uh, in Portugal to spend there winter like a summer and we just go to this country and then when we understand understood that we need to choose something maybe for a more longer time we decide to think about another countries maybe um, not more safety but I like Switzerland because it's <laughs> the most safety country maybe in the whole uh, Europe yeah and, it is and, I uh, agree it is Yes, and it's very important for me <laughs> after the yeah. situation. Yes, and also we think about that uh, if we will live in the center of Europe, we will have a, a lot of uh, opportunities here. And now I, can, I could say that it's it is <laughs> it's a real situation. Yes, now uh, in uh, Switzerland, it's already four months we are here, mm -hmm. and um, my life uh, going well. I started to work here and uh, you uh, were one of my first clients here. Oh, and, really? Uh, yes. Oh, my God, first, I didn't know. Not, not, not the first, but yeah, one, yeah, of, one the of the first. first. Yes, because in July, I only uh, started work. Uh, and in September, I already have around six or eight, eight, seven uh, photo shoots. Amazing. Yes, and I'm very, very happy <laughs> with yeah. it. <laughs> Yes, and uh, so sometimes I only dreamed that uh, people from all over the world uh, find me and uh, make a photo shoot with me. And in September, it was one girl from USA. Uh, and in August, also was one girl from USA. Uh, only last um, Friday, I made a photo shoot for a girl from Bali. And wow. it was so exciting also to yeah. meet some uh, some girls was from Ukraine that lived mm -hmm. here for a couple of years or maybe 10 years, some of uh, them. And it's amazing for me <laughs> yeah, that the work are going on. Yeah, so you, you, you arrived here in Switzerland and, you know, you, you started working in July as a professional photographer and content creator. And, you know, basically you were here in Switzerland, but you, like, you didn't know anyone, right? Yes, so yes. how did you, like, how did you manage to find clients? Because I personally found you on Instagram, but how <laughs> did you make your first clients? How, how did they find you? Because, you know, like building a business out of nowhere uh, can be quite difficult, especially online, since there is so, you know, so many people and so much noise at the same time. So 
how how did you do it how did you find your clients i really like this theme because i'm very involved in uh, personal branding uh, uh, growing and mm -hmm. i have a plan for my growing also in ukraine and i'm a little bit ad uh, adapted it to europe firstly maybe it took two time one or one and a half months to uh, see to analyze how the my uh, colleagues works here and to understand what's uh, happening <laughs> in Switzerland because I understood that it works different from Ukraine. Yes, yes. For example, um, some of my clients still find uh, found me in Instagram, mm -hmm. but usually people didn't uh, buy in Instagram. <laughs> uh, like they didn't try to found some services here. But Instagram was, um, however, Instagram was the main uh, goal for me uh, to make it more understandable for people here. I changed uh, my beer, I changed my uh, profile. Uh, in Ukraine, it was sure in Ukraine and Russian language. And now I make all of my content texts and video in English and people can understand it. And sometimes, um, I also, uh, the last months, I uh, tried uh, to work with another um, social media. It was a LinkedIn. It was a first experience for me to understand how it works also. And I think it uh, will um, have results in future for me also, because I see that in Basel especially, or in Zurich, people use it very, very much. <laughs> So uh, the first step was to update my Instagram profile and to make uh, advertising there. I also launch uh, advertising in Instagram and um, in Google I make advertising and I, I uh, ask you for review in Google uh, for this. Yeah. Review. But did you but, use Google Ads or are you just talking about you know Google Business? Uh, I use and Google Business and Google Ads also. Okay. But on Google Ads, uh, nobody come to me. But I think I will come back. Uh, to it, maybe it needs more time or more budget <laughs> for to find more maybe time. more budgets. <laughs> yes, I don't yes. know how much you're paying, but <laughs> yes. I, I can share with you. Uh, in uh, Google, it was around one hundred and fifty francs per month. It's not uh, a big budget. I but it's uh, still something. Yes, and now I have a good which is about one hundred fifty dollars. Yes, yes, it's um, the same. Uh, now I have a good uh, statistics in uh, Google Business, and uh, only today I saw that it's around ten thousand views. It's a lot of. So I, I didn't understand why why it didn't work. Maybe yeah. all people are going <laughs> <laughs> and preparing. Yes, and uh, also I noticed that uh, very. Um, good work make for me connections with another people i try to meet uh, a new people in linkedin and in instagram i spend a lot of hours i think to find people that i'm interested in uh, to have some connections and then i have a coffee with some of them and they started to recommend me as a photographer uh, to their friends and it was very very <laughs> unexpectedly for me also that <laughs> even without advertising uh, one uh, some clients can come to you uh, yeah, with the, this soft mouse radio even if uh, the uh, the person who recommended me uh, never make make a photo shoot with me <laughs> <laughs> But I remember I recommended you to one of my friends and you guys did a photo shoot together, right? Yes, yes, we yeah. made it with Alice. Yeah, because I mean, you know, um, it still works, you know, even though you have an online business, if you do great work or if you, people, you know, like if you um, have a good connection with someone, they will always think of you and they will always recommend you. I always recommend people, you know? <laughs> Whenever I have like a good connection or I did a good job with someone or, I, you know, I'd rather say someone did a good job for me, then, you know, I always recommend these people. Yes, I think it's the main insight maybe for people who will uh, come to, to a new place for them to start uh, a new life or just a new job. It's to make a lot of connections with people yeah. with whom you want to work. It's not like random people. <laughs> 
No, no, no. It's, you know, I have been advised the same. Uh, like, I think that's what every coach has been advised to do, you know, like make connections. Now, you know, marketing is really about connecting. Yes. It's not the old way of doing things, which I think is awesome. Even though, you know, the old way of doing things is still very much um, present, but things are shifting. And um, so you've talked about how you find, you know, how you found your first clients. And, you know, I, I always love looking at your Instagram because like you, you're always so positive and you always have these pretty pictures mm -hmm. and, you know, with everything that that's happened, because I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a little thing that happened to you that you had to flee your home, uh, that you had to escape your home because of war. So how do you keep such a, you know, such a positive mindset? Uh, how do you, how, even though now people cannot see you, but you know, I've seen you a couple of times, like in real life, even now, you know, we're on a zoom call, but you have such this, you have such a positive energy. And so how do you, how do you keep this energy despite, you know, having to worry about your family, having to flee your country, going through all these um, tragic event events in your life? Thank you for these questions. It's uh, really very important for me and for people uh, who live, uh, lived uh, from Ukraine. And uh, maybe uh, the first month, month is, uh, the first and the second, it was very, very difficult to smile even and to yeah. be happy for some uh, little things because you're always was with the thought about how's your friends, how's your family in Ukraine and how's Ukraine like a country also feeling uh, herself because we very, very love our uh, natural uh, country and it was very difficult to live without these thoughts. Uh, I am now also thinking I'm, I'm never forget about uh, my family, uh, my Ukraine, uh, and I need, um, I was need uh, some help with a psychologist also. I uh, uh, bought a course, a psychologist course, and it, I, I very like it because it was about uh, things that make you happy in your regular usual life it's yeah. about habits about maybe also uh, make it uh, your happy hour in the morning mm -hmm. <laughs> but some little things that make you happy and i practice it every day to be in in this positive way because when you start a day with something happy with some good things uh, it may it give your energy for another tasks and you can be more, more positive for enough of yeah. the day yes would you would you say it's about noticing the little like the small things that make you happy for example you know just you know being able to you know just be alive and be in a safe place despite everything that's going on right now in the world or you know just being happy to be able to afford food for example you know just those simple things was it yes, about yes. that it's the same, yes, and even like morning exercise with a favorite music, with a favorite songs, for example. I know um, you do yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I also practice uh, my new hobby, vocal hobby, and I um, uh, make it with a vocal teacher twice a week, and it also makes me happier and uh, yeah. give energy to my work <laughs> here. And uh, also, it's about maybe even about um, a cup of water in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> like you and and you take care of your health of yourself, doing some masks uh, for your body, and uh, you have this energy to live uh, your life <laughs> after. I don't yeah. know how it works. It's something magic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's really. About I know that you know you. Uh, also wrote about it on your website <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i think that honestly you can shift so much when you realize you know the abundance that you already have in terms of you know sometimes we take a lot of little things for granted just for the fact that we can afford for food for example or that we have you know like access to water uh, as much as you as we want and also you know self-care i think when you take care of yourself you feel so much better yes yes 
it's truth is truth. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's so important. So, do you think of ever going back to Ukraine to leave? I, I hope for it, yes, because I very love my country and they want sometimes uh, to visit Ukraine and even to leave. It, 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 I will know maybe after how it will be, maybe not in Kiev or maybe in another city, but uh, to come back, yes. <laughs> maybe not in the nearest years, but sometimes <laughs> to show our children, our nature. <laughs> But just to visit or to to live there? Yeah, I I hope to live also. But now okay. I, I I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have anything to say to someone who is you know struggling right now? Uh, who you know had to flee their countries because you know like there is war. You know. There's a war, you know, just not in Ukraine, but in some other places in the world. And what would you, what would you say to, you know, anyone going through what you went through? I want to recommend one important thing. Uh, firstly, to take care about yourself and then to think about other people. Because when you will have uh, the mood, the energy, the positive way of thinking, you will have the energy to help. And other people and now I understand that I am a good with a good situation here in Switzerland and I can help my family my country with the money or with a, another ways and it's very very important <laughs> and is there like is there any kind of um ways that people could help your country right now and if so uh would you like to share that with us Yes, sure. I, I will share with you the link, uh, official link for helper uh, Ukraine uh, for donations and also if people uh, now in Switzerland, uh, they can uh, go uh, for me for a photo shoot and um, 20% of uh, income I also will help for Ukraine. Yeah. So it will be and I will share the link of your website in the um, in the description of the episode so can, people can have a look at your website and can book a session with you. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with me today and sharing your um, yeah amazing life transformation and how you've been able to keep your, you know, this high energy despite everything that's happened. Uh, thank you so much for being, you know, so open and sharing your story with us today. Thank you for the invitation. I was very good. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, not so fast. Do you want to find yourself? Do you want to find your happiness? Do you finally want to live a life you truly love? Then let's have a chat. Go check my website embodyyourflow.com and book your free call.